This is a Poke Press Special Report. Hi, I'm Stephen Reich here at Pegasus Games in Madison, Wisconsin at one of the Pokemon trading card game, Spring Bell Roads 2012. I'm here with Justin Hines, who is one of the top four players in the Masters division in today's tournament. And Justin, what you have here is a Mew Prime deck, and uh, as always, Mew Prime decks are always based around what you can send into the Lost Zone to use later. So what are the Pokemon that you use in this deck? Um, I use Zekrom, Terrakion, Mew Prime, Crobat Prime, and Shaman EX. And uh, how do you decide which ones to throw into the Lost Zone and use? It, it depends on what your opponent is playing, so give us a couple examples. Um, for example, if they're playing Mew 2, then I'm typically going to Lost Zone Shaman. Um, for a revenge blast later, um, and then if they're playing a bunch of big EXs, I lost zone the Crobat so I can poison them after I catch it and force them to like use other switches or just let it sit there and die and sacrifice it. Otherwise, I just use Terrakian obviously against like Zekiel's. And uh, you've actually got a ton of uh, supporting cards in this deck. Um, you've actually got over 20 distinct cards in it. Uh, what are some of the, the key trainers in this deck? I noticed you've got actually just one of a lot of them. How did you go about picking those out? Um, well, I went about it because I had to figure out, like, for matchups, what would catch my opponent off guard, what I needed to do against them, what would help me out. Um, energy switch, because nobody expects it. Um, plus power, obviously do the little extra damage. Defender, could just spare you that one extra turn. Maybe you can get that return kill instead of them. Um, random receiver, play one because um, that way you can junk arm for it if you need to and it helps get you a supporter. And then um, revive, so if you only have one in the deck and you prize some of the other Pokemon, you can get it back still. One switch for obvious reasons and one rainbow, so if they play four loss remover, you can still have your special energy to attach for your attacks. All right, and then in the games that you won today, uh, what worked well for the deck? What did you, did you predict your opponent correctly, or uh, what else went right for it? Um, pretty much I just got off to a quick start and um, just started using the effects. I typically start with the Crobat um, if I don't really know what my opponent is playing because you can always rely on 30 anywhere quad poison. Nobody really likes being quadruple poisoned. And uh, so that's, I, that's usually what I start with, and I just go from there, catching up the stuff that I see is like a main thing in their deck that they, they search for multiples of. If they have a few of them on the bench, you want to get rid of them because they're going to be important. And then uh, pretty much just went from there based on what they got out. And in the games that didn't go so well, uh, what went wrong, and are there any changes you might make to the deck to uh, try and improve it? Um, well, top cut, my losses were pretty much based on first one to get a catcher. And then in Swiss, I just let my friend take the move back when I was playing against him, and it ended up costing me the game, but it was like a 1-1 one -one prize. So uh, changes I'd make to the deck? I don't really know exactly what changes I'd make. I'd have, probably have to test it. I might throw in another Zekrom, but I'm also cautious because I don't like st starting with Zekrom either. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justin. This has been Steven Reich at Pegasus Games in Madison, Wisconsin, at one of the Pokemon trading card game, Spring Bell Roads 2012. This has been a PokePress Special Report.